What's a man gotta do for a little attention? Speaking up for what he's fighting for. What's a man gotta do for a little protection? Of the rights our founding fathers had set for. Oh, I wanna know. government, balanced budgets, uh, a strong national defense without meddling in the affairs of other people, sound money, and, and all these things are very traditionally Republican. So I would say that I'm just trying to restore those fundamental beliefs that we used to have, and evidently uh, there's a lot of people that would like to see that done. the odds of all of a sudden us coming up with a unified democratic uh, country in Iraq is is unbelievable when you look at the problem that we have this with the fighting that is occurring between the the Kurds and the Turks and and what's happening in Pakistan now the more we get involved the more we dictate to others the greater the incentive is for the jihadists to grow in numbers and the greater we are a threat and we have to realize it's our foreign policy that is deeply flawed and we need to go back to our roots. We need to mind our own business. We need to have free trade. And we need to have friendship with these countries. But we don't need to have an empire. We're going broke. The dollar's on its ropes. The end of an empire always comes when the currency is destroyed. And today, even this very moment, the dollar is crashing on the international exchange market. I, I want to ask you. We stop the spending by changing the foreign policy and bringing our troops home and save hundreds of billions of dollars and restore confidence in the dollars. You can't have a current account deficit of $800 billion a year and think the currency is going to hold up. Uh, the Chinese right now are bringing us to, uh, to bringing us down, not with a weapon, 
but the weapon of the dollar because we've created too many of them. You have to stop the spending. You have to balance the budget. You have to live within our means. If we don't, the currency is going to be destroyed and all our domestic programs are going to be threatened. It's a very, very serious problem and the people have to wake up. Of course, I think the people are waking up. I think the people need to wake up Washington. Washington is sound asleep about this dollar and an understanding about how the financial system works.